gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the realm. Fairy Vixen here, back again. Happy Monday. Um, if you see something you can't live without, please leave a timestamp in the comments below of the item in which you're interested. Or if you would rather, you could send that same information to my email, which is in my description. But if you do that, please include the title of the video and the date that it was posted so that I can find your items. And if you haven't bought from me before, include your name, address, PayPal, email, and YouTube name. That way you can match up your names, get your items invoiced, and get them in the mail to you as soon as possible. Uh, when you hit $50, I will invoice you, and I will not allow you to claim any more items from my videos until you have paid. But, after you have paid, I will also hold on to your items if you would wait, rather wait until you have a larger order for me to ship out. And, um, you know, that way you have less, less shipping, I don't know, or more stuff when you get it. Whichever. <clears throat> so, we're going to start on this box that I have opened and done two videos on. And then when I went to upload them, instead of hitting the upload button, I hit the delete button. So, we're going to do this again. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, enjoy. This one is from Victoria's Secret. Really cute. Lucite. It's got lace inside it. If you can see that. I don't know if you can see that. Let me put it on so you can see that. <clears throat> yes. And then some rhinestones. And then it says Victoria's Secret. It's got the, you know, the branding on it, which is, you know, you know, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm going to do this one for eight. Eight dollars. These are yellow calcite and brass there's a pair of them they're really cool and we're gonna do the pair of those for 10. A pair of those this one is what is this uh trafari it's one of those gold tone braided with little seed beads added and it's let me see how long do we have how long is it <laughs> alrighty it is 18 inches long it sits right at your collarbones there you go gonna do that one for four Oh, pair of earrings. Actually, now that I'm redoing this, I can do the set together. Because uh, they were in two different videos, but since I'm redoing them, let me dig that one out for you. These ones. That one. There we go. We have these little gold hoops with some scroll work and some little dangly beads. Beautiful. And they are with this necklace with the same danglies and some pretty teal rhinestones. Little bib necklace. There's no name on this, but it's really nice quality. And for the set, I'm going to do hmm, $10. Very nice. Do, 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 do. Oh, these guys. Yeah. These ones with the hooks on them, man, they're a pain in the behind. Behind. <laughs> Can't get it off. Oh, there it goes. It goes this way, not that way. There we go. And then. No. All right. That got stuck on the string somehow. No. I don't want to break it. There. Got it, I think. Uh, there we go. Woo. All right. 
This one is vintage. I'm not sure what brand, but it does have the little uh, pine cone dangle on the back. And it is silver tone and gold tone. And I don't know what brand, but it's mid-century ish it has no name because the hook doesn't have anything on it this one eh, i think this one might be 18 inches let's see let's see let's see oh. 18 inches we're gonna do that one for seven this one is all glass and the only ones that are vintage are these little guys let me let's see if i can get it in focus these are really cute there's like five of them on here it has a magnetic clasp this stuff is newer i would honestly take off these vintage ones and make earrings or something so that they're you can see them a little better because they kind of get lost in this necklace but we'll do that one for five Ooh. and this one is black and red and we do it with i think it's like seven or eight oh eight and a half that's nice. With a toggle. We'll do that for five. Nice size. This one is Mother of Pearl, Queen Conch, and Plastic. Okay, so this, this pink stuff is not coral. It is cut shell. Queen Conch. And then these little guys, actually, if I look at the finish on these, they look like jet, like the real stuff, because they feel like plastic. And they're a tiny bit rough. They might be a little too shiny to be jet, though. Anywho, we're going to do this one for $4. This one for eight, it's all uh, lapis, denim lapis, or as they, they, see how it's got the gray in it? They call it denim lapis, or it's from Chile, so it's Chilean lapis. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is going. Don't know where it's going, but it's going. This one's cool, I like this one. It's five strands, but they're all fed through these three beads. Keep them all together. Yes. That's cute. You can wear that with any color shirt. Pretty much. It's got blue and green and like a chartreuse and an amber. And then kind of mix a mix in the in-betweens. We'll do that for four. Yeah. And he put everything in a bag, so it's all tangled up again. This is a long one. It's gunmetal and clear faceted plastics. And we'll do that for three. This one. I'm not thrilled about this one because it's, you know, it's the beading wire with the plastic beads, but it has this gorgeous piece of abalone on the end. And this is not, uh, it's not treated. It may have like a thin layer of shellac on it, but it's not, you know, the ones that you see that are encased in resin this one does not have that look at the colors on that so regardless of this junky necklace that it's on 
I'm going to do this one for six just for that piece of abalone. It's gorgeous. Do, 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 do. This is another one where I would, I'm selling it for the critters that are in it and not because it's in any great shape. This is missing some paint on the tan plastic bits. See, look. But these guys are vintage, large. They're like a yellow, like a lemon yellow. Um, Austrian crystal, if not uh, Swarovski. I don't think they're Swarovski, but they're really nice because they're the old ones. So I'm going to do this one for nine, just for those. If you want them beads. Because I'm pretty sure you can't get those anymore. This one is Charming Charlie. It's three strands. It's shades of brown with some little pearlescent guys. So it's, you know, gold tone, pearl, bronze, smoky. Eh, we'll do that for five. Charming Charlie to me is about the same uh, quality as paparazzi. Look at this guy. Modern freeform gold tone and white ring. I'll do that for three. <clears throat> three. Pardon me if I sound bored, but I've done this once before. I've done it before and I, oh my God, when I hit that and, well, usually you can undo if you've uh, deleted something, but for some reason when, when deleting off, off the phone, it just goes poof. I couldn't, I went through all of the storage and all of everything and I couldn't find it anywhere. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, this one is child sized. So, uh, probably for a tween, it's wood. And it's really kind of cool. Um, I just, uh, it's tiny. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it maybe means something in another culture and you put it on your kid for good luck or whatever, but it's not going to fit a full-size human. <laughs> so I'll do that for two. Oh, this one. Oh, I like this one. This screams, let's go to the beach. Mint green. Gold um, starfish. Yeah, that's like, oh, we're at the beach or we're in Cancun. <laughs> <laughs> we're in Cancun and we're going out to dinner, so we're gonna put this on in our beachy Together, little, right, you and me? little beachy dress and yeah, yeah. sure, like sure. <laughs> I'm gonna do that one for five. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> this is a very cool vintage faux pearl. Purple, graduated, it's got purple, and then it's got three little pink ones and a pink one in the middle. It's really cute. So cute. Little vintage guy. <clears throat> we'll do that for four. Ugh. Mommy don't know that he's getting her. Here we go. This one is pumice, or lava, or volcanic stone with some rose quartz it's very stretchy and uh yeah so do that's volcano guts? yeah pretty much yeah make little beads out of it and then these are good you put you can put like scent on the uh on the lava and it holds on to it oh, cool. yeah you put a little bit of oils on it but this one it don't smell like nobody use it for that oh boy we went to puerto rico <laughs> yeah, I went to, not quite Cancun. That was Puerto Rico. We're driving down. <laughs> this one is another unmarked one, but it's vintage for sure. Wait a second. Let me get the. All right. They're a little bit twisty. I don't know what the heck. But it is. Beautiful autumnal 
orange green and cream very nice really pretty this this one is right out of the 60s my grandmother had like 80 million of these things um, and they are you know vintage plastics but they're really pretty uh, we're gonna do this one for six dollars six dollars oh we have a we have a couple of sets coming up hey Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, this, this one is Leah Sophia. And it is a pendant necklace with a bracelet. It is faux pearls and like a brushed silver. It has little pearlies on the bottom, on the tassel. Oh, the tassel is tangled. No dangles. No, there we go. That let's get that. Oh, there we go. Now that's in good shape. <clears throat> and it has a little sparkly bit at the bottom and the top. Almost looks like a lantern. Look at that. Cool. We're gonna do this set for eight. Um, oh, here's another set. This one I like to get it untangled from itself. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. All right, we have silver tone and come on, stop that. Don't do that. There we go. Silver tone and AB washed crystals, little round earrings, and then we have a long chain with the pendant to match very nice we're gonna do that for eight. Oh, and that's no name like it looks like it would be paparazzi because of the black but it is not it is unmarked and it feels really nice so this one is one of those ones you find at uh festivals it's got the um 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 Faceted sparkly blue, and then it's got all of these, uh, what do they call them? Separators that make up the rest of it. Very cute. We'll do that for five. This one is from Greece. It's Greek. It's called, oh, I can't, Hera. Handmade jewelry made in Greece. Jewelry. I like the way they spell jewelry. Two L's. Jewelry. <laughs> All right. But, okay, this is what happens when you go on a really expensive trip to Greece, okay? And you spend it all on airfare and hotel. And you can't afford to buy a good... <laughs> a good... <laughs> A good souvenir because it's a little tiny pendant and it's got some lava and then it's got two little itty bitty pieces of turquoise. <laughs> and it still has a tag on it because it was in the jewelry box. Oh, I, oh yeah, there's my, I went to Greece. <laughs> so I'll do that for a buck. Or somebody went to Greece and brought you back a present. Oh, right. Brought you back a present because they weren't about to spend a month, bunch of money on you because you're a total bitch. <gasps> Did I say that out loud? Didn't hear a thing. <laughs> this is a hand on one. Somebody threw a bunch of clear beads and brass. And this is Japanese clover. What? But it's got some nice beads on it. Let's see. This is my favorite one. It's a cube. It's a big cube, and it's got an AB wash on it. That's really neat. So this one will be just for the beads, and we'll do that for three. They're all glass, so that's cool. Oh, hey, I go a lot faster when it's my second time through. <laughs> we're only at 20 minutes on the first bag, so we're going to do probably a 20-minute video. When we get, excuse me, when we get through it, we get through it. This is a cowrie shell. And it's got some seeds on it. And it's another interesting 
but underwhelming piece. We'll do that for a dollar. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really cranky that I have to do it twice. Interesting and underwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like some, some people that I know are like that. Well, you know? Well, that's interesting. <laughs> this is... Uh, I think it's sodalite and um, some agate. It's got some agate and some, um, what's the other one? Jaspers. So it's kind of a mix. And it's got this old, old fashioned um, barrel clasp on it. We're going to do that since it's nice, all nice stones. It is not knotted, so you could take it apart for the stones. We're going to do that one for seven. And last but not least, last but really awesome, actually, this one is a, uh, who is this again? Chaps. So that is um, Ralph Lauren. It is three strands of... Strawberry quartz and rose quartz with a couple of glass pearls thrown in. And it does have some, uh, let's see, does it have any regular quartz in it? No, I don't think it does. It's all rose and strawberry. Very, very nice. We're going to do that for 16 because it's really pretty. Strawberry quartz is expensive. Rose quartz really isn't. But, um, yeah, there you go. That is going to do it for this video. I am very sorry that it is shorter. Oh, wait a minute. No, here's another piece. This one is another Japanese, Hong Kong, German dealy from the 60s. Uh, Shades of Brown. But it is, it has the hook, okay, but it's missing the rest of this side, so that would need to have a chain put on it. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty beads. They're pretty colors. We'll do that one for five. And then, wait, this one. No, no, wait, there were two more that were sitting here that I was going to look up. So I hadn't given a price on them yet, but this one is from India, and it's absolutely stunning. Look at that. Oh, God. Oh, it's so pretty. They're like yellow topaz and pearl. And of course, all of these Indian necklaces have this uh, gold cord that they use around the back and they have this kind of a clasp so you can make it higher or lower now for my liking I like them better with the chain so here's another one that I had made or I had and the this uh cord was fraying real bad so what I did was I put a beautiful hunk of Rollo chain on the back so that made it a lot nicer for my liking because this stuff irritates my neck like i'm allergic to something or in it or something so i might end up doing the same thing with this i don't know what to charge for this i also don't know what to charge that's why i still have this one because i don't know what the heck to charge for it so i gotta look those up um yeah and that i always have that sitting there it's always a pretty one this one i wanted to look up or not look up this one i want to um it's knotted. It feels like amber. I need to do the float test with it. I did look at it with my um, my this, and it didn't really glow. So I'm thinking it's not. But it looks like cher like cherry amber to me. But it's not not doing a thing. So I'm gonna try the float test on it first. So I don't know about that one, and I don't know about this one yet. Isn't that gorgeous? But I'm prop I'm definitely gonna put I'm gonna put chain on like I did with that one. Yeah. Even though it's not authentically Indian if you do that. 
But anyway, that's going to do it for this one. I would like to thank you all for being here. Please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and remember that I love each and every one of you, and be yourself, because everyone else is taken. Bye-bye.